guys, Ash Lane here coming at you today with a Let's Play Mobile Strike for Beginners. It's part of my Casual Friday series where I try out different mobile games, give you guys a, a first look from a strategic uh, vantage point and obviously uh, from a beginner's point of view as well. So what we'll do is go through Mobile Strike from a someone who just picked it up. I've been playing for three weeks now, so I have a decent grasp of the game, but I also have some good tips for you guys uh, when you're just starting out and kind of how to get the lay of the land and explore how to go ahead and uh, pick up the game and understand some of the basics. Now, uh, like I said, my base is about three weeks old or so. I've been playing a couple times a day. You know I'm a busy guy, but I'm having a lot of fun with Mobile Strike. A lot of you guys requested for me to play it in the uh, comment section on my last, uh, my last Casual Friday video. So, my head Headquarters is essentially a town hall if you're a Clash of Clans type player. Uh, it's basically where, uh, you know, you level up your your headquarters. I'm not sure what the max level is, but I know it does go up a significant amount of levels. You can see I'm going to upgrade soon. I'm 6 right now, heading to 7 soon. Now, your commander is basically your uh, you. You can Your commander is another word for your main base strength in a lot of ways. And what you can do is you can level up your commander and get boosts throughout the game that help you all the way from troops to your, your commander bonuses to even resource bonuses. So a lot of different skill trees and ability trees that you can access through leveling up your commander. Now you have all types of special things in your items. So so even if you're just starting out or if you've been playing for a while, you want to go to your items and use the commander level up ability. That is absolutely a huge tip. And then you'll be able to go to your commander skill tree and level up certain things on there. You can see the whole tree, everything that gives you uh, essential boosts, uh, pivotal uh, pivotal if you want to become a, uh, a more powerful base. So you can see, you can click on each one and there's tons of information. I've been told that one of the key things to uh, to to helping out become have a successful uh, base here in this game is to get your iron up. So we want to unlock the iron production. So it, to do that, we're going to focus mainly on troop training skills and abilities. So the abilities that a beginner might want to use in this game is troop training. After you get down, you're going to have to level up the farming uh, to begin with anyway. The farming and the uh, the first tier or two of the uh, of the tree to access the rest of the stuff, right? But eventually, we want to get into that iron production. So we have to access stone first, then iron. And I heard that's going to be one of the best things to do as a beginner player. And then as you can progress more and more into the game, obviously, these skill points become more and more valuable because it takes more and more of them to level up and progress down the tree. But it's a cool part of the game. There's a lot of different options this game isn't one of those games that you just pick up in uh, you know an hour or two later you're absolutely mastering the game there's actually a lot to take in it's kind of like a civilization game for you old school players and a little bit of elements of like clash of uh, clans uh, game of war there's a lot of elements like that that go into mobile strike so each building has a different use we'll get into some of the buildings uses uh, right now in this video but maybe we'll save other for uh, a future video as well if you guys are interested. Now right now I'm kind of hanging out in the shooting gallery. Shooting gallery is an interesting mini game within the game. You can purchase ammo and you're also given free ammo every single day. And what you can do is hit these targets. Every target you hit, you get some sort of a bonus that's going to help you actually in the, the main game. So you can get extra ammo, you can get speed ups, you can get resources, stuff like that. And then what you want to do is with all these resources and rewards that you get from these missions that you're doing and obviously from all these skill trees that you're upgrading well you're gonna start upgrading your individual buildings now how do you decide as a new player what you upgrade and what order you upgrade and what build what each building does uh, well, there's a few ways, right? So the easiest way is you're given missions every day, and these missions get progressively uh, higher rewards for completing them. But also, not only are these missions purely, you know, just 
uh, fun things to do or things to do just for a reward, but they're also kind of like a tutorial within the game. What I mean by that is the missions for the first, at least till when you're level 21 like I am, my commander's level 21, so... So what these missions do is they have you upgrade for the first, you know, like I said, for the first quite a significant amount of time in the game, these missions are going to have you upgrade a certain building or do a certain thing that's going to make your base stronger. You can upgrade your walls. Now to speed these up, you're given boosts and you actually get these boosts also from the shooting range. There's a lot of ways you can speed up your units to help these missions go faster and uh, you can ask for your alliance mates for help as well. We'll get into that in uh, in just a minute. But as far as the uh, the missions go, it's a good idea to upgrade your units in the terms dictated to you by the missions. So just follow along with the missions that you're given every single day, and basically that's going to help you build a well-balanced and sufficient foundation on your base to succeed in the game later on. Now if you hit that help button on the uh, the building, it's going to go ahead and uh, I'll ask, ask your alliance mates for help to make it build faster. So once you do a base mission, make sure you go into your missions tab below and collect your reward you're given a certain amount of re in-game resources for every mission that you do so essentially what this is doing is it's refunding you a little bit of the cost of these upgrades at least in these earlier beginner missions these base missions so at the same time you're going to be a bit upgrading units that are going to help you out as a beginner in the game for where we are right now so some of your buildings obviously are similar to a barracks that's a training ground that's going to allow you to train more troops and do attacks and get more resources and uh, other mission uh, other uh, excuse me units buildings in the game are going to be like the radar building there's there's actually a help tab where you can identify every single building and what it does there's a farm there's a hospital and uh, and so on and so forth so before we're not today we're not going to really get into what every single building does but uh, let's go ahead and, and explore the alliance tab a little bit so these are this is my alliance right now uh, you can see my members they're they're ranked in terms of base strength your power is basically how strong your base is your commander level is the level of your commander in your commander tree and uh, you can help your alliance mates over here so I'm helping my alliance mates always a good thing to do uh, you can help uh, quite a bit uh, per day and then it resets how much you can uh, help out your alliance mates and what's that do what, what is that doing how are you helping them well you're helping speed up their upgrade just like you can do when you ask them for help on your upgrades now for the first time we're gonna take a look at the global map here it takes a second to load and then all these other bases pops up here I am k1r which is my alliance ash lane so you can see my base over here and you can see nearby bases you can see a convoy this is kind of like our battle map so we're in the commander's seat picture yourself as the commander at this point as Arnold Schwarzenegger you saw it in the commercials I actually saw my buddy uh, Rob Gronk Kowski, you guys might know I'm a Patriots fan uh, around Boston area and uh, yeah so they have a lot of celebrity power behind this game so uh, I'm interested to see if the game lives up to the hype around it uh, there's certainly a lot of hype and so far I'm having fun but we'll just have to keep playing and see how much we enjoy it but I'm gonna show you guys how to do an attack here now right now we're doing a scouting mission but uh, we can speed it up so we speed it up a little bit and now scouting missions are very important so it's a good idea to scout before before you attack how do you know how the scouting mission went and how do you know how your attack went well you can see here and uh, now let me get out of here real quick you can see the tabs on the bottom and you can see that there's the missions the items the alliance tab and there's a mail tab in your mail tab oh, I forget I forgot to train troops that might help by the way so go to your training grounds then you can go ahead and uh, you can see all your troops. There's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4 troops. We're going to be using tier 1 troops because that's all we have unlocked right now. But there's a lot of troops in the game that you can choose from. And uh, so we're going to build a bunch. 
we're gonna use the gold I have to instant uh, instant train now you can see I have gold gold is the, is the uh, the type of resource that you can actually purchase in the game so you purchase gold and you're able to speed things up and, and, and pay for more expensive things that's the in-game currency it's a free-to-play game but you can obviously put money in to make things go a little bit quicker I've only put five dollars into the game so five dollars got me 1200 gold so uh, that goes a long way in the beginning and then as these games uh, go it costs more to do things later on in the game when things take longer to do so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy some troops at this base and uh, it, actually I'm gonna scout it first so I'm gonna show you the power of scouting now I talked about that mail tab on the bottom of the screen there in the mail tab is where you're gonna be be able to see the results that you your armies uh, have in your scouting reports have also your mail tab is really like an email more than any other game I've seen uh, you can talk to different people you can communicate with your alliance and you can see the reports the scout report for example shares the amount of resources in the base the number of traps they have and the number of defending troops they have that's actually a really valuable and useful tool because when you attack them you get to choose how many troops you use so you don't want to use way too many troops but there is a cool feature about the game that allows you not to lose a ton of troops because troops take a lot of time to train compared to a game like Clash of Clans where it's a 45 second thing. Sometimes it can take you know a day I heard when you progress really far into the game to, uh, to train troops. Right now for me it's probably only like 20 minutes so, but we're going to use some speed ups to speed them up. So in your items make sure you check in because oftentimes there's speed ups and there's deployment speed ups. There's all kinds of different speed ups in the game. Speed ups are kind of like a big currency because the game is a game of time so yeah speeding up obviously speeds up the time and time is the main currency so you guys get the picture so now we're gonna go ahead and attack this base but I made a big mistake in this base you can see this is my little uh, tank here attacking the base and uh, I made a mistake and the mistake was I didn't put enough troops in uh, one little tip for you guys I've heard uh, from more experienced players to always use your commander because when you use your commander when attacking, you could you saw there, maybe I, I didn't mention it, but you're able to click your commander when you're choosing what troops you want to attack a village with. Now always attack with your commander as well because she's going to go with them and she's going to get experience, uh, commander experience, if you're successful. So that's something always to keep in mind. Use your commander on these attacks. There might be some late game benefits to not using your commander but for beginners I would recommend always using your com your commander with your attacks now when your attacks see okay so I made a big mistake I didn't put enough troops in there you can see I lost two troops my opponent lost one troop even though he only had 20 defending troops you, you need to bring more because they have walls and they have defenses so it's not just a member a, a, not a question rather of just the number of troops versus the number of troops so I had no resources gained I only gained a little bit of commander experience so we're gonna go back out there on the global map again we're gonna attack but this time it's gonna be a proper attack my Coleman my commander is checked off we're gonna deploy full troops way more troops and we're gonna speed things up now when uh, as this attack is going let's speed things up a little bit here we don't want to occupy this let's go ahead and review the more section in the more section here's the how to play tab this is something that you'll want to spend some time reviewing like I said we're not gonna get into every little aspect of the game right now but you can go to alliances care package battling beginners teleport blocked users boost etc etc well let's click on the battling tab just to give a little walk through here you have infantry tactical etc etc you can go ahead and read through and this will actually give you valuable tips trap bonuses how to level up your commander how to uh, navigate through the skill tree PvP battling etc you, you can get the point here and each of the screen of the how to play screens are like this so the how to play section is actually really important I know a lot of people just gloss over this kind of stuff but if you're gonna play the game you do yourself the justice or you do you do yourself the respect to sit down 
take away take five minutes before you get into the game you'll learn a lot just by doing things like those daily missions but you'll also learn a ton by just reviewing at least what every building does because every building does have a use in this game the idea of the game is look at this by the way this is a huge alliance and they all clump their clans together it's some added benefit that I'm not yet aware of because my clan is not my alliance excuse me is not this strong so you can see this guy's a beast. He's a ton of attacks, one, a ton of resources. His power is off the charts. These guys look very intimidating. So I want to stay away from them. You can see my lonely little base all by itself over here. So uh, I don't know how to do that yet. Like I said, only a, only a couple weeks in the game, and this guide is really intended to help out beginner players. Uh, so you can see here on this, okay, th this attack was successful. We went to the mail, we went to our reports, and we saw that we, this was much better here. We were able to get a decent amount of commander XP as well. And that's something that I'm always looking for because leveling up commander gives you skill tree points. Skill tree points makes everything go faster. Now, I wanted to show you guys the hospital. I tell you what, we won't be reviewing every single building in the game, but the hospital is very important. Because after you battle people, you go to your hospital, you'll heal your troops, you have to do this within a certain amount of time after your attack. You heal your troops, and then they're not dead. You can use them again, and they cost much less in terms of time than just making your troops from scratch. So guys, we're going to go ahead and end this guide here. Let me know what you think of the game, what you thought of the uh, the commentary. What If you want to see more, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys. We don't play for fame. We don't play for